Hi, my name is Gaz the Mini Painting Punk and in this video I thought I'd show you something a little bit different than I usually do and this is a quick tip for 3D printing large minis. Um, it's something I like to use when 3D printing large minis and it's a bit of a cheaty way to split a print in Cura. Now there are more legitimate ways to do this um, but if you want to split a model exactly in half then this is a really quick and easy way to do it. Um, so this is the model I want to print. It's a body of a giant spider. Um, as you can see it's fairly large and it's currently looking like it's going to take about 13 and a half hours to print this. Um, you'll see in the preview once it loads because I moved the model um, that it's going to require a fair few supports down the bottom here um, and it's gonna take about 13 and a half hours to print um, and you'll see there there's quite a lot of support needed for that and the more support sort of more chance of having support failures and stuff like that so um, an easy way I can make this easier to print is what we'll do is go back into prepare and so we want to find out the exact Z height of the model. So it is 81.1911 millimeters tall. Um, so if you can do this in your head, great. Um, I'm going to use a calculator. Um, so you want to take that. We want to find out exactly half of that. 81.1911 divided by 2 equals... 40.5955 okay so then we go into the movement tool and we want to set the Z to minus exactly half um, so minus 40.9555 okay so that'll sync the model exactly halfway beneath the build plate and basically when you save this to your removable drive or set it to print it will only print what's above the bed so we're just going to print the top half there and that's going to take they say roughly four hours and once that's done we can flip the model 180 degrees And that's going to slice now as well. Now this side will still require some supports, but nowhere near as many. Um, and we'll see once it's sliced that this side is going to take six hours and thirty-three minutes. So um, if you go into the preview, we'll see the supports there, but a lot less. Um, so before it was taking thirteen and a half hours to print the whole thing. Um, now printed in two lots like this you're looking at ten and a half hours so that's three hours time you saved and a bit of filament as well um, like I say there are more legitimate ways to do this and you can do it accurately to split it say splitting it here might be a little better but for a really quick cheaty workaround to do just in Cura that's how I'd um, cheat my way into splitting the model in two now if you wanted to print it all in one go you could even right click we can multiply the model so create a copy okay and flip it 180 let's move this one slightly out of the way and again we can minus this to 40.9555 and then we can have both parts on the same build plate with the rest of it sunk underneath so it won't print those bits and we can send it to print like that So 
Let's see how long it takes on slicing. 10 hours, 43 minutes. So still a lot shorter, a lot less supports. Um, as I was mentioning before, it might even be better to split it here so you don't have to do the supports for this bit. Um, if we were to do that, it's a bit more complicated. It just requires a bit more... A bit more maths so if we say there is a good point to put the bottom bit um, that is minus five one minus five one point six four one seven um, so we want to do um, the full Z height so that is so we want to do 81.1911 minus 51.6417 equals 29.1 Five four nine four. So if we take this model and then move the Z to minus twenty nine point five four nine four point five four nine four and so and then we'll see under the oh don't center it. Okay. There we go. That's better. Um, and there we'll see. So above and below the build point, we have two copies of the whole thing, but it's only going to print the same, the bottom bit and the top bit there. That split a bit better. So there shouldn't actually be a need for any supports at all now, hopefully. Let's just get it nicely lined up because I'll probably save this and print it like this. So just wait for it to slice. And now it shouldn't need any supports at all, I don't think. A watch model never slices. And there we go, 10 hours, 39 minutes. And uh, let's just check the preview, see whether. So there we go. Um, yeah, little to no support. The same model, about three hours faster. Split in Cura in a very cheaty way. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this video useful and thank you so much for watching and until next time, goodbye.